I feel like I look like a like a middle school teacher from the 80s who like chain smoked all the time and like didn't know exactly where her lip line was so she's just like you kids need to shut up Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, if you guys saw yesterday, I went ahead and did a first impressions on the Stila foundation that I purchased in one of my Ulta hauls a couple days ago, the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. This is what it looks like. If you saw in the video, I wasn't too thrilled with how it turned out. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. It's looking a little better. I've had it on my face for a couple of minutes now, so it's starting to kind of like sit a little bit better, but what I wanted to do was do a Stila highlight or a Stila like spotlight on the brand. That is basically a series that I would like to start doing regularly on the channel where I take a company that I have quite a few products from but not quite enough to do a full face on. I feature most of their products and I do as many things as I possibly can using their products. Most of my Stila products are pretty old. A couple of them are newer ones, but most of them are ones that I've had for a while, like this little guy. I'm, this is like one of the first brand name found, or, uh, makeups I've ever gotten, makeup palettes I ever bought. Um, my mom gave it to me for Christmas like years ago. But it has two pretty colors in blushes. This is like a kind of a more of a bronzy blush is what I would call it. And this is more of a pinky one. So I'm going to go with the pinky one today. I, I love this brush actually. This is the only one I haven't used yet, but that just went on so smoothly. It's like, all right. So that I actually love this brush for this purpose. I have really never found a blush brush that I loved, loved, loved enough to be like, this is my permanent blush brush. And I think I just did. So way to go. So blush is on, as you can see, it's like a pinkier color, but it's still pretty prominent, not too, too bad. Just kind of did it right above my um, contour because I wanted to get it up there. This is a new product. I've never used it on my hand. I did swatch it when I got it in the haul, but this is the Stila um, Little White Lies Highlight Palette. I did not actually know that they did highlights. It was on sale when I purchased it and you guys saw that in the video. I'm going to go in with that pink color because of what my whole aesthetic is today. I think it's going to be kind of like a pinky purple. That's kind of what I thought, just like a sporadic kind of dusting of glitter. Oh, as I get more in there, it kind of seems to be maybe absorbing a little bit better. It's honestly, it's not the highlight that I would typically go for. Um, I like more of a, a full coverage highlight, if that makes sense, where it comes on more of like a shimmer chalk and there's just like really big glitter pieces in it, but there's like a shine that goes throughout the whole thing and that's really not what this is. I just feel like I have to really like kind of dig my brush into my skin to get it on there the way that I normally like it. Okay, so it actually did sit in there pretty nicely. Um, like I said, it's not really like the same. I'm, I'm just used to more of like the ABH highlighters, the Lime Crime highlighters, even the Morphe or the BH Cosmetics highlighters. They're just, they just do a, big, a better job of like covering a big surface area and then kind of like dispersing like small shine with like big shine throughout so that's not really what I found here it's like a lot of just like it almost looks like I took like that glitter jelly that used to be popular in the 90s and just like rubbed it on me so moving on to eyes I'm gonna show you guys two palettes that I've had literally for years this is mind from the Stila collection it's very beautiful if you can see like the cover of it the packaging is just lovely um this is like a set they did I think four palettes in this set like mind body soul something like that and one Christmas when I was first starting to get into makeup, my mom gave me three of those four. So I have most of that collection. And then I also have this really pretty one. I'm going to show you this first, but I love the packaging on this. This is another one that my mom gave me when they were first getting, I was first getting into makeup. But it looks like a little letter, so it's super cute. But um, the other one is, uh, got a combination of matte and shimmers, but I'm not really going to focus on the shimmers because I also picked up these, which everybody says these are the best. So I'm excited to get to finally use this. It's the Stila um, Liquid Eyeshadow, in, the Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Peach Pretense. So it's like a little pinky shimmer that's upside down, a little pinky shimmer. So that's what I'll be using for my um, pop of glitter today. So I wasn't really worried about having a lot of options and choices for the glitter shades in my eyeshadow because I knew I had that. On the eye, it actually is looking a little bit more of like a brown gray than a purple even. So that's a bit interesting. I feel like today even my eyeshadow primer went on really chunky and it like peeled off. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it's from the foundation and the concealer 
or if it's from the fact that I washed my makeup brush, I mean my makeup sponges before we started and I, it might have had like a little bit of the remnants peeling off of it. So maybe that was what it is. But hopefully the eye look can kind of come through, pull through. This color is definitely like more gray than I was hoping it would be though. It's I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more of like a deep purple and it's not. It's really like a brown gray is, is really how I would describe it. So hopefully then I can kind of get this all in and really help kind of fix the streakiness that's kind of appeared so far. So I did, I was able, I think, to kind of get the color packed in there a little bit more. Um, it seems like this palette is a little bit, um, more malleable. I don't know if that's the right word. It's probably not, but I'm going to come in and I'm going to take this really light pink purple right here and I'm going to hopefully be able to blend out some of the just immense amount of color I had to pack in there to fix what I tried to do at the beginning. I'm going to do it on both sides and I'm going to have to go in with a little bit of a better transition color because it's still kind of looking patchy as hell right now. Unfortunately. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender and with the excess foundation I have I'm going to kind of try and tap out some of the rough edges. Um, and I think now the best chance we have of saving this is just coming in with the Stila uh, liquid eyeshadow and trying to just make it as clean as possible and color it in glitter because glitter fixes all problems if you did not know. Okay so I just kind of spread it on my eyelid. I'm going to take this flat brush that I use for my glitter shades and I'm going to kind of pack it in to kind of make it a more even spread but that seemed to work nicely all right and then I'm going to take there's a really pretty silver glitter color I'm going to take actually I lied I lied I'm, I'm actually just discovered this color is like a champagne -y color it's a little lighter I think that'll be better for like my inner corner I'm going to just take a little bit of that on that same brush that I used to pack in the glitter shimmer and I'm going to come in in my inner corner oh yeah that's a really pretty inner corner eye color and it's actually sitting really nicely probably helps that there's a little bit of moisture on the brush just from doing the um, packing in on the liquid eyeshadow so I'm sure that's helping I'm gonna take this little guy I'm gonna do just a little spurt of color on my bottom lash line I'm gonna take that same purple the one that worked better for us I'm gonna put just a little bit on that brush and go under my eye it's really concentrated today because I like I said I washed my brushes before we filmed and um, it's a little bit still moist from that great but it's there okay so I did have in this little kit you guys saw there was like a little mascara wand that was included in it I went ahead and started doing my eyelashes just because we had to stop the camera for a minute and I was like you guys have all seen people put on mascara before so I don't think there's anything too earth shattering about it um not gonna lie this wand looks a little old but it's actually applying really nice um I know mascara is one of the one things that I am very funny about I know all makeup has expiration dates Honestly, when you have as many palettes as I do and when you spend as much money as you do on makeup, then I don't really, um, unless it's starting to smell or if it's starting to like look discolored or this formula seems to be changing for some reason, I'm not going to really throw away a palette after two years. I'm just not. So I don't normally pay too much attention about it. Um, but with, um, with mascara wands, you have to be careful because they will give you an eye infection so fast. It's not even funny. So, um, I was a little worried about it, but like I said, the formula seems to be going on smoothly. It's not very chunky. It doesn't smell bad. So, so that's our finished light, uh, eye look. I'm not thrilled with it, to be honest. I feel like it was a little bit more of a challenge to work with than I was even expecting it to because I have worked with these palettes before. I'm not blaming it on steel. I'm honestly going to blame it on the primer because I think the primer and the patchiness that I experienced putting on the primer is what made it so hard to work with. Um, the liquid eyeshadow is actually gorgeous. It really is very beautiful. I think it's kind of saved the eye here. Um, because it's still, like, I'm not going to be uncomfortable going out in this. It's just a little bit less, um, clean than I would hope it would have turned out. But the last thing really we have to do is going to be the lipsticks. I have two, uh, the liquid lips, the Stay All Day liquid lipstick. Um, this one is the color... Patina and this is Rubino. One is very nice and pink. One is very nice and red. I'm going to mix them hoping to make kind of a diluted red. This is the one for the red one. Very, very red, but it's a good size. Um, I will never use this much red lipstick in my life, so it will work nicely. And for this one, I'm just going to kind of put it in the center. 
and then spread it out. Beautiful. I feel like I look like a like a middle school teacher from the 80s who like chain smoked all the time and like didn't know exactly where her lip line was. So she's just like, you kids need to shut up. Nikki's making a face because he knows it's true. <laughs> so now I'm going to come in with this like nice like dusty mauvey purpley pink color and I'm going to kind of clean up those lines. Are you laughing still? He's still laughing about it. This is why we've been together so long, because we find each other's humor funny, even though nobody else does. This is a great look. This is really working out for us. <laughs> this is art. Alright, so I did my best to fix the lips. I don't know. There's a lot of product on. I think I just kind of kept going over top of it. And how do they look? He just gave me a thumbs up, so I don't know. His is just a constant thumbs up. Okay. It looks all right. Hopefully it looks okay on camera. I went and checked in the bathroom. It looks better than it does in my little mirror and the hair slate. The harsh, the harsh, I feel like I'm from Canada, eh? Uh, the harsh light. Uh, but it's still, now the dog's looking at door. God bless this mirror. This is a mess. This whole video has just been a mess. Anyway, it's been a wild ride, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry if this video is a million years long because it feels like it's going to be. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you like the look that I created. If you have any tips or pointers or anything that you'd like to share, please do. If you have any comments that you would like to leave, I would love to hear from you guys. As always, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do so and hit the notification bell so that you see every time I attempt to do my makeup on air. And as always, I hope you stay girly, but with a dark twist. Say hi. Can you see the puppy? She's so unhappy. She hates this. She said, why, mama? All right, go away. Go away. Got film. Go away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.